I thought for a change today before we get started we show you what you need to do first before the learning kicks in all right so we show you the job before we show you the learning and such so you will realize the importance of picking up that set of knowledge before you do the work huh how about that okay now the situation is like this you cannot again this is going to be a very linear process again this lesson that means you learn parts one two three four five <clears throat> and then you do the work you cannot do the work first and jump straight away into it and all doesn't work that way <clears throat> because you wouldn't know how to do it or you will do it the wrong way so to speak okay so let me outline the job to you first the in-class exercise to you before we get you to do the work huh okay so what's going to happen is you will you are given the site you are given the site in which you need to prepare animation for and in our interior design practice okay we have a couple of um, things that we animate very very frequently particularly cameras because we are dealing with spaces so we have a variety of tips and tricks in which we use to animate the camera to better showcase and present the interior environment and design however we will also animate certain things uh, we will also do certain basic animation to certain elements like for example animating the camera animating the door that opens at opportune times and close at the right moment things like that okay so this in class exercise here this in class exercise here will outline five cameras that you need to prepare and render of course and one scene you will need to animate as well okay let me just run you through very very quickly at that huh the first one will be this the first one is the camera that is circulating around the object okay i will run you through this one so i will show you this camera here this is the job hold on first okay i'm recording this and then later i will upload this so that you know what to do huh okay so the first camera will be this one it's what we call a path constraint camera with this what's going to happen is if you look on my screen what would happen is the camera is actually circulating okay circling around the object all right in which if you go into the camera view this is what is going to happen this way all right this is how the animation for this particular view will work the next one would be The next one will be the rotate view camera. The rotate view camera simply works like this. The camera's location is here. So what's going to happen is the camera is sweeping at a particular angle and then it is looking from left to right. If you notice the camera is slightly stationary it is only standing there and it is rotating all right next i will show you the next camera here the third camera would be the panning camera the panning camera is configured in such a way 
it is linear and parallel. If you look at this, what's going to happen is the camera is actually stationary also, except it's almost mounted on a rail that will move in a particular manner. This way. All right. I hope you can see this one. This is what we call the panning camera. All right. Next one. is the zooming camera. The zooming camera itself does not move. If you notice this, if you look down at the top view here, the camera simply doesn't move. There is one thing we use as an animation factor. It's a slider, so to speak. Okay? And then the view is basically just using that slider that animates, we are able to create the zooming view. Alright, or the zooming camera. Next, we will move on to the interior rotation camera, the interior rotate camera. Such views are very, very commonly found or used in our interior design context. Let me show you how that works. <clears throat> the camera is stationed on an interior view. The camera is largely stationary, except the target is actually moving. All right, if you look at that, and then that creates the interior rotation view. Okay, you are looking through the view this way. All right. We will next move on to the last part. The last part here is a scene. It's more of a scene than a view. This one here. This one does not have a camera, but it is a scene, okay? So you will, con you will configure your scene to look something like that and then you will render it as an animation. So the key challenge here is, let me just turn off the, let me just hide this away so you can see it clearer. Alright, the key difference here is the objects are being animated. In this case, Mr. Biped here. Mr. Biped is a human skeletal form. All right. He's animating now. And he is animating as if he's going to walk through the door. And he's going to walk through the door. And at the opportune time, the door will open and let him through without Mr. Biped getting his face smashed in through the door. Okay. This is one of your key lessons and one of our key target learning outcomes here. All right?